Here we go. Friday Q&A. We are back in action. This is like my fourth attempt trying to make this video. I've been really distracted this morning. So hoping this is the one. Okay, so we weren't here last week. Uh, out of town, visiting my brother. Always a good time seeing him. But super pumped to be back. This is going to be a great conversation. I'm going to turn my heater off real quick. It's getting hot in here. Um, because we're going we're, we're gonna to talk about baseball today. We're going to talk about showcases. And I love baseball. Almost kind of by default. Um, I train predominantly female athletes and baseball players. Um, that's pretty much it. So I've, I've grown to love baseball. And I uh, appreciate the complexity of that sport. And uh, the complexity of trying to train people who play that sport. Um, so this is going to cater to them. But this is also if you're interested in playing at the next level. And you are curious about showcases. Something to tune in for. You just kind of kind of take what I'm saying here about baseball and then you can plug in showcase. Perhaps. I don't know. This is just based off previous experience, conversations I've had with uh, a lot of my college and pro guys. Um, and then some parents as well who have kind of encouraged me as well as um, some other people in the field who um, agree with me on this topic. Um, so to get started, showcases here. I'm going to try to make this quick. I got some notes off to the side to make sure I stay on task. So if you see me peering off the screen... I'm not weird. I just like my notes. So a couple of things. The first and foremost being when you are looking at a showcase, you need to realize that the timing should be your biggest red flag. All right. I'm going to be very blunt here and say that I think showcases 99% of the time are complete waste of time, a complete waste of money and are really, really good for increasing your chances of getting hurt and getting a surgery, especially if you're a pitcher. Um, if you look at some of the research, there's a link below. Kids who attend showcases are four times more likely to get hurt and throw. And then if you even a secondary stat to that is pitchers who throw twice as much, right? So you're going to more showcases, you're throwing more, you or you sub on more teams, or you're not really pitch count efficient. You throw people who got hurt and pitchers who get hurt are throw twice as much as people who don't get hurt. Okay. So correlations there. The timing of these showcases is incredibly disadvantageous for the athlete. And this is pretty much across the board for most sports. Because why? Because most often, um, if you look at the timing of these, it is going to be November, December time. And that is after a nine-month baseball season if you're a year-round baseball guy, right? So you're playing... February through October, sometimes into November, and then you want to go do a showcase. That's basically like trying to get recruited solely off your ninth inning performance or your fourth quarter performance or the last set of your volleyball game when you are going to probably be the most tired and not at your best. And so these kids, um, in the hopes of getting a scholarship – will go to these showcases when they are the least prepared, the most fatigued, and probably at their weakest because usually training falls off the table. A lot of people, for some reason, don't train in season. That's a whole other topic in and of itself um, that I will talk at nauseum with anyone who will listen. But I'm getting off topic. What, I, what I'm trying to say is like you are just so unprepared that late in the, that late in the year. And... And like these showcases are meant to just do that showcase what you ha have available. You're trying to kind of sell yourself here. You're selling the worst version of yourself. Um, I would rather get a kid, right? I mean, like I want to, I, when I go to, when I try to sell myself, I'm trying to sell my best version of myself, right? I don't, I don't want people to see how weak, how slow, how, sl how I can't throw a ball after a couple pitches because I fatigue out because I've had such a long year. Like that's all bad news, right? And so the, the timing of this is, is, is disadvantageous. Um, they're trying to take advantage of an off season for both college. So the coaching staff is more available to you to show, to run these showcases. And then you're typically in your down period, which what your down period then becomes a ramp up period for the showcase. So it's like you take maybe a couple weeks off a year because you have to keep your arm fresh for bullpens to get ready for these showcases. And there's never a true, off season to work on development, right? These showcases do not work on development more often than not, which they shouldn't, right? A college coach is there to recruit, develop talent once they acquire the talent, once they recruit you, and then they're going to win games, right? They're not, they're not necessarily concerned with, 
your anatomy and your physiology, your your injury history and your mechanism of injuries and your kind of what pathologies you're biased towards. It's just they're there to pick people up. And, and the fun, the funny part is, is that these these ID camps from conversations I've had with m almost all my college baseball players, not a single one of them was picked up at an ID camp. Um, in a tournament, perhaps like in a live gameplay setting, yes. But if you go specifically to a college in the hopes of getting recruited at a camp, I think you're a little delusional because that never happens. Um, I, I read in this in this article I posted below by Eric Cressy um, talking about showcases for baseball players. He's had one person out of, I would argue, he's trained north of, gosh, like ten thousand people easily. Um, all baseball players for the most part, he's had one person get picked up in a showcase and that's, and he was an upperclassman, uh, who I think was a pretty good talent already, but he would have probably got picked up in spring or the, or the summer anyway. So timing, terrible, um, injury risk goes up the more you throw, right? We know this already. Um, but one thing I think people don't realize is, is when it comes to the whole injury factor, is that there's a more often than not a delay in the actual injury process itself, right? So you might get a kid, I've had plenty of 12, 13 year olds who have wrist, elbow or shoulder pain already, and they will go to PT, get that resolved, come back and then just kind of go about business as usual. Um, that is definitely a risk factor for something serious down the line. Um, because a lot of times what PT can do is it gives you rest, but it does not change the fact that you're going to go back and do those activities that made you hurt in the first place. You might try to cover that up with like NSAIDs, right? Ibuprofen and whatnot. Um, but you never made the joint stronger, the surrounding musculature, ligamentous structures, all that stuff. You did nothing to fix that. And so essentially is what, what PT will often do in a situation like that is, is it'll give you a healthy break off. They will tell you, hey, don't throw, come in here. We're gonna do some, some exercises and then we're gonna cut you loose. Um, but what happens is they stop doing the exercises and, or they get used to the exercises and they plateau out and the exercises lose their benefit and they start throwing again. And then down the road, you're looking at a Tommy John's, you're looking at a slap tear, a labral tear, um, something that requires surgery and puts you out of the game because you threw too much. So, the problem with some of these showcases is they is they will exacerbate or they will speed up the process of exposing your already deficient weaknesses that cause injuries. And so with this, I want people to kind of have this mindset of like you need to ramp things up and ramp them down, right? So all my guys right now, if they're in here, I'm trying to get them to shut it down for at least six weeks before they even touch a ball. And when they do go to touch a ball again, it's going to be probably catch and then catch off a line and then long toss and then they'll do sub max throwing off a mound they're going to go ahead and they're going to ramp up until tryouts but like people who think they need to be throwing hard year round test their velo see what's going on is like that's that's just not wise from a developmental standpoint you need to take time to build up your structure right it's like i tell people like if you you need a if you have a 85 mile an hour arm but you have this little itty bitty body, it's kind of like putting a V8 engine into a Prius, right? Like the, 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 the frame cannot hang on to the power and the capacity, things start to fall apart. So you need to build the body up and the engine up, depending on who you are, maybe you need to build both. Um, and in that case, then you definitely shouldn't be throwing because then it's like you're wasting your time, you're wasting your effort. Um, so to kind of wrap this up here, um, we need to realize that showcases kind of are, they're there to pay the bills more often than not, right? That's how a lot of their assistant coaches get paid. Some of their funding comes through that. Um, I'm not knocking it, right? I'm a business owner. I get how that stuff works. But if you're really looking to maximize your baseball potential or any kind of college potential is you need to realize that showcases aren't the way to do it. Um, an off season is a really good thing and throwing less is a really good thing. Um, and give yourself time to develop physically as an athlete in order to be successful when it matters, right? So the spring season, the summer season, 
those are your hot spots. If you're good, they're going to find you. Um, or if you're doing your due diligence in the recruiting process, they're going to find you, but they're not going to, they're not going to come pick you up at a showcase. All right, let's not kid ourselves here. If you, if you know a baseball parent or another baseball player needs to see this, go ahead, sh kick it over to them, please. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise you got a comment, a question, shoot me an email, DM, write a comment in the section. I would love to talk more about this. Very passionate about this stuff. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Um, have a good Friday, all that good stuff. We are out of here.